Well, good day, Tubes. Bruce here. Well, yesterday I changed out all of my batteries in the smoke detectors, and I actually have a few water detectors too. One below my water tank, which is in a big tray. Uh, one by my furnace, which has an actual uh, condensation pump on it to the sewer, and one in my sump. So I actually have seven detectors and all in the house. Three smoke detectors, one carbon monoxide detector, and three water detectors. I know, I know. But anyway, I change the batteries in those once a year, and then I bring the batteries out to the garage and I check them to see if I can use them in non-essential, the used batteries, I'm sorry, I, I take the used batteries out to the garage to see if I can use them in non-essential things like meters and flashlights. Right, you get it? And uh, so these three came out of the uh, water detectors and they don't really use any uh, current draw unless there's an actual event which doesn't happen very often so these three batteries are just under 9 volts I don't know if you can see that I hope you can so that's 8.90 8.92 and 8.96 so these three batteries are good enough to be used in a meter like this and these two batteries came out of the actual smoke detectors that have a a flicking or a pulsing LED on them so they get used more and not bad they're just a little less 8.82 and 8.26 so I'm not going to use these two batteries I'm going to recycle them but what I like to do before I throw them into the recycle bag is I like to cover the ends in tape because if by accident uh, the positive and the negative end up together well, I'll just click them together like that don't do this this is bad and they're getting hot already in my hand isn't that something so in, in the bag if they just happen to be laying there and the positive goes to the negative and the negative goes to the positive you get a dead short so when I throw them out I just take that little extra step because I did see a YouTube video where there was a house fire caused by 9 volt batteries touching the terminals. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be fancy, right? There, and I got a little bag here. I put my dead batteries in, and when I get enough of them, I take them in. So now I put one of those batteries into my meter, which I'll just close up here. So number one, change your batteries and all your detectors once a year. Number two, if they're, nine, if they're 9 volt and there's a potential that the terminals could touch, just protect them from shorting out. So towards the same subject, this is where I keep my spare batteries, we'll call them. Um, these ones are... Uh, some of the detectors don't all have 9 volts, so uh, these ones are one and a half, uh, double A's, triple A's, and then these are the rechargeable ones that I tend to use in flashlights because if you leave them turned on you can reuse the battery. So anyway, there, that is my little battery, temporary battery storage, and you'll see the 9 volts have a piece of tape on them. Just a little small look. Thanks, guys.